Good morning from the Little Farmer's Farm. I'm just um, checking an overview of the plot as it stands now. And uh, I'm stood on top of the Tiki Hut. Extremely confident in my uh, joinery skills, of course. Otherwise I'd be falling through the thing, wouldn't I? Um, there's your, um, your garlic. The Casablanca. The uh, Germidor, pink Germidor. And some onions on the end. I'm going to be planting some more onions and garlic in here today, and uh, maybe as well in there, or, the, or even the top bed. In that top bed, there, that was the fantastic bed that we grew those um, red cabbages, tons of pak choy, tons of um, spinach, all in there this year. We had a good go out of that bed this year. So what I've done is up at the top the very top there where the wheelbarrow is uh, there was a um, compost bin behind that which I've emptied and um, I'm taking the soil out of that to top off some of the beds so that's coming out, that's the actual bin there that it's come out of um, so yeah there's some soil up at the top there near the wheelbarrow that I'm taking down it's quite a bit up there because there was two um, compost bins and we've had a probably 50-50 nitrogen carbon mix when we were um, filling those bins up. It's all the garden waste that we that we threw in there, as well as all the cardboard that we chopped up into the thin little chips and strips, and uh, and layered it until it were full. And it's full. And there's probably about four, five barrels worth out of there, out of each one. There's the green one behind it as well, which you may or may not be able to see. See if I can zoom in. Yeah, there's the green one. See? A bit blurry, I know, but that's going to be emptied as well. That's only about half full. That we've got all the compost uh, that we're going to be making out of the uh, horse manure as well, which is there in those bags. So I've got to get those pallets put up somewhere into a corral for all the horse muck and then cover that over then with uh, polythene sheeting. I've got some thousand gauge blue polythene, sh polythene sheeting that I'm going to wrap it in, leaving the sides open to allow her to get in and um, nature to work its magic. I've just thrown, as you saw the other day, uh, horse manure on top of that one. Just, just sort of loose horse muck. See if that rots down over the next three or four months and uh, that can be ploughed under or raked in um, in the new year, mid-March time probably. Uh, got some herring, herring compost there as well, which I'm going to be putting into buckets just to keep on growing in the facelifted, uh, facelifted polytunnel of mix next door. Um, so that's uh, one of the one of the little plans for this weekend as well. This pea bed here that's down here, that's coming out, and that's going to be either shifted over the this weekend along that fence line, or it's going to be stowed away until next year and then put up somewhere on a whimsy, really, next year. But the soil that was in there, which has got the um, enhanced nitrogen from the peas that we grew into it, again, that's going to be going either into buckets or to top off the beds with. And uh, we're going to be starting some more compost in the compost bins. So we'll have the compost bins, of which we have two. We actually got three, because there's another one over there. Let's see if I can zoom you in again. If it'll let me. That one, hiding behind the tree. Which I've not utilised yet. I'm going to have to take that off because it's on the service side, but I'm going to have to move that and put it somewhere. It's finding space for stuff at the moment. Um, we've got four of those water butts, the big water butts, the 200 litre ones, or 250 litre ones, I think they are the blue ones. And um, I maybe don't need as many as that with, with the water retention that we're keeping from the rainfall on the Tiki Hut. Probably won't need all of them.
so it comes down the um, into the gutter down the little pipe which I've straightened up as well I'll show you in a minute uh, it was all crooked if you remember before I've straightened that up as well I've took the ends off that were sticking out the timber ends off that were sticking out as well that one's a better job I've done there than I have on that side I did I did this side with um, um, you, you know with a normal saw a hand saw this one I did with the circular saw, the battery operated Ryobi circular saw, which isn't as neat. So I'm going to neaten that up and sort that out. I think a little bit of work needs to be actually around, around there. But this is totally and utterly um, watertight as, as it stands. It's working well. I silicon down when I did the roof, I silicon down this edge here, and nothing uh, goes into the, into the gutter. It's in the same condition as it was when I put it in about four or five months ago. So it's looking good. Yeah, it's looking great. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be putting some long beds in next year probably now into that part where the old fruit cage was, the fruit cage area was. But it's good to get up here and have a look down on what you've got. I've um, polyed up the, um, the poly greenhouse again put some fresh poly on that Mick had some left over from when he did the uh, the big hoop poly tunnel so we patched that up and uh, that's alright now that's weatherproof again watertight so yeah I'll catch you in a bit so as you can see from that um, the drain pipe is now straight wood as once it was bent I've also taken off the overhangs of timber that were hanging out of the um, roof at the sides. Like I said before, and I've trimmed off the untidy bit that was at the back. All the lane face inside. So they've been trimmed off. Um, if you remember, there was um, a hang down there of wood that came across and also the roofing felt was uh, dangling down at an angle as well so I've trimmed that off and made it a bit nicer along a little bit neater oh and we're making a uh, a corral a compost corral I have to excuse the wind it's a bit windy today but uh, that's beans for you, isn't it, eh? So here's the compost corral, which is basically three pallets that are screwed together. So I've levelled out the soil, um, roughly levelled it out underneath, and pressed them down partially into the soil by standing on them, and then screwed them together. So I've fixed them together with screws. there and there so at three intervals really it's screwed together that and that's all you do it's pretty sturdy sturdy as it can be really as it needs to be but you've got all these gaps here now you do need air or you should have an aerobic uh, composting setup where air does get into the compost and assists with the breaking down of the materials, the organic materials materials that are in there. But there's all them gaps, there's too many gaps. So what I've done is the big um, pallet that was at the back there, that was leaned against the fence, if you like, where my, my wood stories, my temporary wood stories. I've knocked all the planks out of that and I managed to get, I think it was seven planks out of it each of these and what I'll be doing with these is chopping them in half chopping these in half I've already marked one out and then they're going to be going and they're going to be filling in them gaps on either side and then on the back bit there I'm just going to cover that with some of the sheeting some of that sheeting I think there and then once it's covered you'll have little gaps still remaining of about an inch between all of those um, uh, slats of wood 
uh, and that'll allow the air to get in but then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the chicken wire that was formerly the pea bed which is here oh you might notice as well that the uh, fence has been removed from here all the fence has gone this is getting shifted that chicken wire then is going to be used to line out the inside of that up there the corral the compost corral but yeah the, so the timbers are, um, are here and they were the base slats of the long uh, pallet that I've got and um, so yeah so with that one with these rather I've marked it off centrally to one of them I'm going to chop them all in half and fill in the gaps on the corral but that's for tomorrow because it's getting a bit late now and uh, we've been to the bonfire up at the top so I'll either um, I'll show you that actually on the next bit there is a bonfire that we've had today that Pat, the allotment, the allotment secretary, organised for us. And the lads have been up to that with the grandma. And we had black peas and we had hot pot, which was lovely. And we also had bonfire toffee, all the usual. The kids had sparklers. It was a good do. It was a good do. Always a good do down here. We missed the barbecue, the summer barbecue that they had because it was James's birthday. And um, so we've come to this one today and it's been a nice little afternoon. So yeah, I'm just wrapping up for the day. Pick it up again with you tomorrow. And um, that'll be completed up at the top there. And we'll have some more onions and more garlic planted in. Uh, the beds will all be topped off tomorrow with the compost that we've got. In fact, I'll show you the quality of the compost. I have topped off a bed here. That one. And that's with the, the made compost that we've um, we've created on site. That's all the compost that we've created on site. And I'll show you the consistency of it. Uh, it's cracking. Like I say, it's about a 50-50 carbon and nitrogen mix, which is your greens and your browns. And um, Look at that, a fine growing medium that, got some little, little bits and pieces in it, but they can be sieved out, and what hadn't broken down, we put into the next one, the other one here, to be broken down, and hopefully we'll have the same sort of an effect from the corral over there. So I'm still tidying up, I'm still making good, I'm still weeding, getting everything shifted. It's going to be complete this weekend though. There's the um, poly greenhouse roof, it's only a temporary fix that. Obviously we were just using pieces that we had left over to sort of patch it up for now. Because <laughs> I am going to get some polycarbonate, clear polycarbonate uh, four by two sheets to do that with in the end. Um, but it's alright for now, it'll do. For the time being, won't it? We make do, we mend, and we crack on, and that's how we get growing and keep growing organically down here on the little farmer's farm, and that's what you should be doing. So crack on. I hope you're on the uh, plots this weekend, working hard. If you're not, shame on you. And we'll see you next time. All right, have a good weekend. The rest of it, it's about half three now on the Saturday. I'm going to go and get the boys uh, have some uh, tea down at grandma's and then set the kids back to our place the lady farmer is working again till about 10 o'clock tonight so um yeah i'll do my fatherly duty and i'll see you later on what shall i leave you with i'll leave you with the corral let's go up to the corral dodging the um the poo there's some poo there as well nice bit of poo Cat probably, something like that. Uh, dirty buggers, aren't they, them cats? And there's the canal where the all smoke's going. All right, boys and girls, have a lovely weekend, as I say, and we'll catch you all next time. Bye bye. I'm throwing this one can on. Friendly, nothing will go wrong. Are you sure? Yep. Let's have a look then, see. Thank <laughs> you.
my dad's setting it up so you're perfect. Oh no. Bradley, it's just going to be a big bang. I don't think she should be though. Dad, throw me a oh, sparkler. Not yet. Yeah. <laughs> 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 hey, I heard that. I've got my hearing aids in. <laughs> but that's a bit like a sparkler, that wrapping paper. Oh, it's catching hold a little bit now, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It's going to go kaboom. Oh, it's right. going to go kaboom. And it's going to go kaboom. I just want to see what the pumpkin is. Keep an eye on Bradley so we don't go, wait, so we don't go oh, near it. Bradley, so this is what we've done with everybody's wood, all the old wood taken out from all the raised beds and everything and all your scrap wood. Perhaps organise the bonfire for it for the kids. Got parking and treacle toffee and all sorts of black peas, and we'll be well fed. It's catching on now, isn't it? It's well ablaze now, James, isn't it? Yep, yep, yep. The guys have burned. And it's a good job we've stood all the way back here. Look at how hot it is. What do you think, Bradley? James. Bradley! What do you think, Mini Digger? Hey, no, no, when I came out, it's never short. Not bothered, are you? So, yeah, that's what we were up to today. Uh, the boys have chosen to stay at Grandma's house tonight and um, good on them for it. Um, Mummy Farmer is at work. She uh, She has to work work shifts. She does a very valuable job for the community and unfortunately though it does mean that she occasionally has to work silly shifts. So she's back tonight about 10 o'clock and we've no kids tonight so hopefully we're gonna have a mummy and daddy night for a change. Um, we'll be back on the plots tomorrow and I'm gonna finish off the corral tomorrow and I'll talk you through how to make it, it's dead easy, they're dead easy, you just need a couple of pallets, probably three or four pallets, uh, I'm going to put a frontage on it, I'm going to put chicken wire on the inside of it, um, and finish off the, the panelling on the inside of it, allowing the air to still come through, so it's an aerobic rot down, and in the winter time, who knows, you might be able to stand around that, keep warm, because I know in the centre of them, if they're working properly, you should be getting temperatures of about 110, 120 degrees uh, within a, a good active compost heap. And the higher you stack them and the more mass you've got, the more heat gets generated. So that's what we'll be on with tomorrow. Uh, hope you've enjoyed this episode. I'm going to try and keep them uh, to one or two a week, uh, but concentrate more on the content to them. Um, instead of just throwing everything up willy-nilly um so yeah okay we'll catch you later have a wonderful rest of the weekend and um keep on growing and keep growing with your head down that's a wigan term that keep growing with your head down it's actually keep going keep going with your head down it's a rugby term to charge through and get you trying but keep growing with your head down there's another one See you later. All right. Bye-bye.